guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. So guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Ye's interview that he did with Big Boy TV. So Ye and his friend Ty Dollar Sign, they did an in interview with Big Boy TV that is currently um, trending. It's a really, really good interview. It actually gives you insights um, as to some of the things that Ye has been enduring, how he came up with the Vultures album, where he's at, you know, and just you know, life, catching up in general, his perspective, you know, and it's really, really great. Now, in this particular video, we're going to talk about Ye, you know, speaking about, you know, his, his relationship with Jesus, because listen, his, you know, story, it is so familiar. It is so familiar that each time I look at that clip, that song that, um, Tasha Cobbs did, Take Me to the King, I Don't Have Much to Bring, you know, where she said, I'm all church out, you know, she, she's all cried out. She's feeling hurt and abused. This is exactly what Ye is saying. He's saying that he has been through so much. Where was Jesus at the time? Now, make no mistakes. He's not saying God doesn't exist, but I mean, he's like, you know, he had to tap into, you know, that resource of energy that you have. He thought he had nothing left, but he had to tap into the resource of energy that he had. So, you know, but he still has the question. I want you guys to take a look at this clip with me together, shall we? Because this is something that we all go through, but not many of us are brave enough to say it openly and honestly. Let's check it. Let's check out this clip. Then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. Wall Street was burned to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I ain't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like, a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society, in America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm going to pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison. Mm -hmm. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I ain't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account. You know what just hit me as I was gearing up to record the second leg of this video? Is what Sloan Bella said when she did that energetic reading on Ye. She said that Ye is going to lost his way. She said that. She said it like almost a year ago. And she said three years from that time, Ye is going to find back his path and lead God people on the correct path. So it, as I've said to you guys, it's not as though Ye is saying, I don't believe in God and I've given up on God. He has just lost his way. And not many people are transparent enough, bold enough, honest enough to speak the truth. Because honey, when I tell you, huh, I've met some Christians, honey, I've met some Christians. I would rather, <laughs> I'm not even going to say it, but I'm going to keep it real. I've met some Christians. They are nothing but demons. They're wolves in sheep clothing. But Ye is being transparent and honest about his beliefs, his feelings. And you see, when someone is being transparent and very honest, it means that they're crying out for help. And many people don't realize this. They would think that this guy, Ye is an honest guy. And I don't know when some people are going to wake up to realize that this guy is very much honest. He's going to say it as it is. You may not like it. I may not appreciate it, but he's going to like hell say the truth. 
I know that many people are going to have different reactions to it. But for the most part, what I'm seeing that people are seeing is, so people are saying that Ye has fallen on God, his faith was weak and all of that. And this is the thing about mankind. We are such hypocrites. I see only a few people in the comment section saying this happens to every believer at some point in time. I remember going to church when I was ill. I went up for prayer and the pastor asked me if I trust God. And I said, no, I don't because I don't know what he's doing. Sometimes I feel like I can trust him. Sometimes I feel like I can't trust him. And the pastor said, if my church brethren would be as honest as you, this world would be a better place because you're being honest. And that is how I feel at times, even though I'm a pastor, but whenever you feel that way, that's the time you start praying feverishly. Okay. So I hate to see the hypocrisy of people saying that he has folded. He has turned away from his faith. Sloan Bella has predicted this in Ye's life. And you know what? She said, give him three years. He's going to find back his path. It happens to every great Messiah. Because honestly, there's only God who can come at my feet and tell me this many isn't. They all fall down. And there's so many gospel songs that tell us that we all fall down, but then we get up, right? We have to get back up again. Ye is going to get back up again. And that's all I have to say about that. guys. Listen, we're all human beings. If you think that the things that you say to yourself at times is weird, go on TikTok. You'll find a few million people who are right in the same boat as you. Never let anyone let you feel as though you're a weirdo and you're the only person that that has ever happened to, okay? Never let anyone make you feel that way, okay? Anyway, guys. I mean it. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you guys later. Peace.